I am very in love with Kit Moore. If I could, I would love to marry him. I fell in love with him as soon as I saw him. I met Kit for the first time with meet and greet passes at his concert. It was just instant connection, love at first sight. The minute he stared into my eyes, I've never felt something so strongly in my life. After the show, there was a very hot hug that Kip gave me. That was unexpected. I wasn't expecting all that hair grabbing. I asked him if he could take me home. My intentions were to not leave without Kip that night, and I think he may have thought I was kidding, but I really wasn't. I have a tattoo of Kip Moore's autograph where he signed my back. It's very special to me. It's a symbol of his kindness and his passion. I've tried to call his management. They wouldn't let me talk to anyone. I tag him in every post on Facebook, follow everyone on Instagram. None of his bandmates or managers or anyone has responded. I wrote a 12-page letter front and back to Kip. I also sent him pictures of what I wrote on my car. I drove around for several weeks with Mrs. Moore on the front, Marry Me Kit on the back. I'm destined to be with Kit Moore. I can't help but feel that I come off as just another crazy fan. If Kip would be willing, I will marry him and run off to Hawaii and I'll have his surfer babies. Well, just one little problem about Jenna's plan to marry Kip Moore and have those surfer babies, and that problem is, well, it's Jenna's husband, Travis. Um, but she says she solved that with divorce papers. It was after the second concert with Kip that I knew without a doubt I wanted to divorce my husband. I'm still married to Travis. We have two children. After the concert, I said, I can't go home to what I have. I can't go home to being abused and not loved. I wrote a text to Travis. I realized that we're both unhappy. He's made several threats of leaving over the past several weeks. I felt he should spend the time getting his things together and moving out. After I sent that text, Travis didn't take it very well. He threatened to take the kids and not give them back to me. And it's been rocky from the beginning, full of emotional and verbal abuse that I've tried to deny and hide. So I file for a protection order to keep the kids and me safe. Having the interaction I had with Kit Moore made me realize that love is supposed to be special, not full of hate and disgust the way that I had with my husband. You went to this concert. My husband was kind of just being mean to me and whatnot, and he made special attention just to kind of sing to me and... So Kip paid special attention yes. to you? Yes. So how, I how many people were at the concert? Millions. I was just in the front row, okay. and I was crying, and I, he made me feel special. How did he make you feel special? Just, he was singing like, hey, pretty girl, and just kept kind of coming over to my way, and, you know, I was crying, and... I was in the front row, so he were, was just... you were down in the front row. Was and, this an outdoor? Yeah, and he's just goofy, thing. dancing along on the stage and crouching down in front of me. That was a year ago. Yes, and made a promise to myself that I was going to go okay. see him again. And you did, right? I did. <laughs> you, you got meet and greet tickets through a radio station. I did. You, you, you mean, you'd seen him from the stage, mm -hmm. but this is the first time mm -hmm. you really had personal one-on-one -on -one contact yes. with him. How'd that go? Uh, as soon as he walked out, it was just, his jaw just kind of dropped and he stood there and I stood there. I couldn't even move, honestly. And I had written him a note. Um, he took it and put it in his pocket. And then I asked him to sign me because I wanted him to, I wanted to get it tattooed. But he signed my back and um, he was just super sweet and hugged me and just the way he looked in my eyes, just I had never felt anything like that before. Did he recognize you? No, I don't think so, but I made a point to wear the red dress because he, I know he sings about red dresses and stuff, but as soon as I walked up, he said, wow, I love that red dress. <laughs> he just, and he pointed that out. 